CQDX, CQDX, CQDX. This is Havana calling. CQDX, CQDX, CQDX. This is Radio Havana calling all shortwave listeners and radio amateurs. Welcome to... Unlimited, Radio Havana's weekly feature dedicated to the fascinating world of radio communications. Hi, mis amigos, radio aficionados all around the world. I am Arnie Coro, radio amateur CO2KK, Charlie Oscar 2 Kilo Kilo Infoenics. I'm here in Havana giving you a nice welcome to the middle of the week edition of the Access Unlimited, our station's twice weekly radio hobby program covering each and every possible aspect of this wonderful hobby of enjoying our spare time. Name radio. Be it winding the first chord that you ever attempt to wind in order to finish the first crystal radio, homebrew, or perhaps describing how the indie man of the radio operators are able to build very nice stations using mostly recycled electronic components. In between those two nice ways of enjoying our house are many others, like installing a backyard antenna for the first time that will make you join the very special club of amateur radio astronomers. You heard it right, amateur radio astronomy. Or maybe you will be getting ready to take part. In an upcoming weekend, VHF, UHF, and microwave and radio concert and accept the challenge. Yes, mis amigos, I will be taking part in a concert every time using 5 watts, so that my entry will be registered as a QRP or low power station category. Yes, radio is fascinating, and if you ever think it's all over and there are no new things to do, try to learn very little that for your mind. I'm trying hard to do that for your mind because radio is a never ending hobby always bringing you new challenges and new possibilities of having a really nice time spending it. It goes to your radio antennas and accessories. Here's now item one of today's program. Total activity plus. No talk of actually reading the insights at all. But be patient, it is just part of the regular solar activity pattern. It's 11 years solar cycle. And so we will see yet another upsurge with more and bigger talk of showing up. That will happen maybe, hopefully, sometime next year, but not now. By the way, I started to write the script of this show early Tuesday, UTC day, at around 0 2 hours UTC. A quick check of the amateur shortwave band showed 20 meters was closed, 20 meters was also closed, and 40 meters showed some CW and some PSK and FTA activity. 40 meters was a bit more significant. I said, too, digital communications modes are becoming more and more popular among the younger generation of amateurs who, after all, were born under the actual line of the TV screen and iPhone. But what is really surprising to me is the high number of old-timers, yes, the old-timers that are at the keyboard using the new sensational FT8 theater mode, communication mode FT8, that is the most popular one of them all at this moment. Monitoring the FT8 signal from the 20 meters run during the weekend may possible to become some very rare ones, very easy to catch using low power and simple antenna. Do remember that also VHK31, the very simple mode, is user-friendly and we enjoy it while using low power and a simple antenna and you can simply type slowly keyboard to keyboard. It's a lively keyboard to keyboard mode to press to FTA. In fact, it's just for many apartment dwellers around the world that want to go on the air on the high frequency band. FTA, the Fox Tango 8, is about the only choice because it is very compatible with other electronic equipment noise makers like TV set, DVD players, MP3 and MP4 players, electronic organs, everything that generates noise, FTA is very real to them. But amigos operating a 100 watt transmitter with 20 meters band from the apartment complex running single time band noise or CW is certainly an invitation for trouble with the neighbors because the chances of disrupting the neighbors electronic gadgets is pretty high indeed. Just 100 watts and a wire antenna and you are in trouble. So we have collected quite a number of funny stories, anecdotes, like this one that I'm going to tell you now. Many years ago, the lady next door to a friend's apartment knocked at her door, at her door to complain about television interference, something that was quite right. It was true. But what was really unbelievable was that the lady insisted that she was actually seeing my friend on her TV screen. Of course, that was absolutely impossible. My friend was using voice calls, but the lady insisted. And my friend had his son operate the station when he went to see what was going on to the neighbor's TV set in a very friendly way. Well, what happened is the screen was partially dark, 
and very good beer. And very good DX for you, Ani Coral. 